Off the Record Liberty Stowe. This is the fourth game in the Off the Record series. This is, of course, made by Epix Entertainment, one of my all time favorite developers. Sure, sure, sure. Look at how beautiful this background scenery is here. I love the sandcastle over here. This is nice. So, we're going to go ahead and get started. We're going to play the game. So, we have easy, we've got medium, we've got hard, and we have a custom. Lots and lots of choices here for custom. We're going to go ahead and uh, start off on easy here. Look at how pretty that gem is. It's so pink and pretty. I really like that opening uh, scene there. That was kind of cool. Is everything set? I hope you agreed on the price. I don't want any setbacks. I've got to meet with that American journalist now. Hello, you must be the reporter. I am the reporter. Would we like interactive help? I think we'll go ahead and settle for the special features. My name is Carlos Sterling, the owner of this hotel. The beauty pageant you've been sent to cover will be underway shortly. It's a beauty pageant? All right. The winner will wear the Liberty Stone, my family's most precious heirloom. Have you ever seen it in person? I have not. I've heard stories about that jewel. It's supposed to be huge. But what does it look like? The pageant winner will be wearing the priceless Liberty Stone. Look at the size of that stone. I bet it's worth a fortune. A map. I can use this to find my way around the hotel. What? That can't be. I'll come at once. Sounds good. My apologies, but I've got an urgent matter to attend to. Benny here will take care of you. Please excuse me. No problem. Oh, oh. I'm sure everything's fine, ma'am. Your room's upstairs, at the end of the hall. Our PR person, Amabel Walker, will meet you there soon. Amabel, okay, let's meet Amabel. And our key to our hotel room. Now one of the things that I really liked about the Off the Record series is these little letters down here. See this one right here? I think it's such a cool little quirk that just makes this game unique in its own way, and I'll show you what I mean. The music's really nice here too. You see how the E is now in the Liberty Stone? So we had to collect all these letters to kind of build up the Liberty Stone. I just think that's such a nice little touch there. It feels like you have a sense of accomplishment by collecting each of those and then you see it on the main menu. I like it. Okay, Mr. Dragonfly, what shall we do? Now, I do believe there are other collectibles here. Looks like we're looking for seahorses. So... My room is upstairs. I'll have plenty of time to look around later. I'm not sure if it's a morphing object or not. Well, you know what? I have the bonus collector's edition. Let's look at our collectibles. Seahorses are marked in yellow, letters marked in green. Okay, so we are looking for seahorses. Let's have a look at the screen. Ah, there we go. One out of 43. But you know what? We don't have to get too stressed about that because we'll be able to go and collect all those after we've done the game, so. No need to get all concerned about it. Look at the look at the gorgeous glitter. That is awesome, look at it. I know that some of you are pretty hardcore about this and prefer not to have glitter, but I like the glitter. Ooh, we've now collected a beach ball. Apparently that's the thing. Look at that, we gotta play with the light here. Everybody is busy setting up the pageant. They've even barred the entrance. It's a very gorgeous looking hidden object puzzle here. Look at this. This is just gorgeous. Now, if, yeah, I was just going to say, if Epix has kept up with their typical pattern, there'll be morphing objects in these uh, puzzles here. But again, like if I miss them, I don't have to get too fussed about it because we can go back afterwards and collect them all. Which is really nice. 
I, I play these for fun, right? I don't want to get all stressed about it, so... Mr. Sterling. Okay, this box looks interesting, but some pieces are missing from the lid. Paradise Courier. Where does the feud end? Family feud escalates. Tyrell Walker claims the rights to the Liberty Stone, but Carlos Sterling denies it. Okay, so we gotta gather up all these pieces to the box here. And how many more do we need? What? Oh, look at that strawberry! Yeah. <laughs> I like strawberries. So we need another box piece. Got you. Now we gotta arrange all this. Uh, let's see. Yeah, ooh, this is neat. What is that? A square magnifying glass? We have found this really neat looking magnifying glass, huh? I love how like the tassel swaying, the fur is way swaying here. It's such a nice attention to details. There's a decorative oh decoration missing here. Look at the size of this arrow. Yeah, I, I can't help but just fanboy over this game. In a minute, I'll freshen up and talk to Miss Walker. You have collected a plus item. Plus items can be examined further and even combined with other items. This extinguisher isn't broken, it's just missing a couple parts. Isn't that by definition making it broken? No? What went wrong for this little owl? He lost his head. Oh, over here. So we have two doors here. We've got 103 and 102. Oh, look at that. Letter Y. Ooh, 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 I want to go check. I want to go check. I want to go check. I want to see what that looks like. There's the Y done. Yay. Alright, so what shall we do here? We should go check out door number 102. Looks like I'm going to need some sort of beautifully engraved decoration, which we don't have. I love the music. It's really calming and soothing. Maybe that's the calm before the storm. I also love my hand. Look at my nails. It's got nail polish on it. Someone left me a note. Sorry for running late. We had an emergency. I will meet you soon. Amabel Walker, event PR. Get out of there. I need to put the key in there. Let's go. Very pretty door handles, too. Whoa. Who's there? I can't see. Where's the light switch? Ooh, creepy. Someone went through my luggage, but why? There's clues everywhere. That's my vanity case. I hope nothing is missing. The Liberty Stone sure is a popular topic around here. The Sterling and Walker families have co-organized a beauty pageant. Well, all the contestants will be trying out the crown before the pageant, only the winner will have the honor of presenting this magnificent jewel to the world. Latch is stuck. Someone forcefully shut the case. Okay, so we can't open that yet. Mr. Seahorse, the collectible. Yeah, so we have two collectible seahorses and letters for the logo. My trusty tape recorder. Use the tape recorder in the lower left corner to play audio tapes you find during the game. And my notebook. I'll take this. Ooh, Mr. Lizard, come back! No, don't go! I'd rather not get dirt all over my hands. Really? No dirt for you. Okay, so what else can we do here? I'll take that. I think that might actually be able to help us out. Why wreck the bed? Like, if we just got here, we wouldn't be anywhere near the bed. <laughs> here we go. Wait, what? What's this fancy box doing here? I didn't pack this. It's not mine. It clearly is meant to carry the gem. Ooh. 
D gem case. Oh, look at that. I have actually my own cup of coffee right here. Ah, there we go. Yes, I consume the occasional cup of coffee. So, we got notebooks and all sorts of other goodies here. We found six objects in eight seconds. That's not bad. Usually it's one for one, you know, like six objects, six seconds, which makes it tougher. Well, where's our map? Let's have a look. Very nice map here. Looks like we can go to here. Maybe. Whoa, you startled me. I'm Annabelle me. Walker. We have an appointment. I'm sorry for showing up late, but one of the contestants was attacked and... Say, what are you doing with that jewelry box? Hey, say, how do you know I have it? How do you... What? Oh, I guess I'm like carrying it around in both my arms. I've got all this stuff. And she's like, hey, what's that? Uh, nothing. I recognize that case. It's where they keep the Liberty Stone. What are you doing with it? Look at this. We have choices. This is the choice dialogue. Pick the believable answer from the given choices to gain Amabel's trust. The screen will flash, flash green when you choose it correctly. Are you accusing me of something? Look, lady, my room was robbed. Do something. You seem to know a lot about the gem, don't you? Maybe you went through my stuff over the bellhop. I found it empty in my room. I don't believe you. That sounds far-fetched to me. Uh-oh. <laughs> we screwed that up. I don't believe you. That sounds far-fetched to me. Alright, so clearly we should have went with the sharp approach. I understand you're upset, but try to remain calm. Was so, anything else stolen from your room? I don't think so. I don't believe you. That sounds far-fetched to me. <laughs> Darn, I thought it'd be too back-to-back. -back. That's quite a claim. You think someone set you up? What time was it when you got back to your room? Ah. Uh. The police have requested that all guests give their passports to our front desk for safekeeping. I'm sure the police will be eager to question you. We I'll help you as much as I can. Here, we just got here. How? What? How? We gotta go leave our passport now at the front desk? Wow. Alright, fine. Ooh, look, it's... We have access to this now. It's neato. That looks like the suitcase Carlos Sterling was carrying. There's something etched here. I have a magnifying glass. Ooh, what's that mean? This must be the Sterling's family crest. Okay. Copy it? Sure, why not? Ooh, it's a puzzle thing. Oh, I love these Tracy puzzles. Ah, keeping the lines, Gibbs. Come on, you can do this. Paint, paint, paint. Just gotta color in the lines. Oh, I actually have to... Go back and... Look at how good I'm doing now. So good. Yeah. That's pretty cool. I like the notebook aspect of it. Okay, so clearly we can't get into that yet. Ooh, we should get into this, though. There's the owl head we've been looking for. What a breathtaking view. This island is a jewel of its own. This ladder leads to the outside of the hotel, but it's locked. It's locked. Is that my insignia? Ouch, I can't find out. While the fire is burning. I need to use the fire extinguisher, clearly. Neato. Oh, by the way, for those of you that are watching, if you happen to see any of the collectibles, feel free to just type a comment in the video. That would be awesome. Especially for those folks that are following along and they're like, Hey, there was one there. If you guys want to go ahead and type that up, that would be very helpful, I would say. I'm so sorry for the inconvenience. The police have arrived and they've requested that all guests remain at the hotel. May I see your passport? I'm not sure I'd, I'd ever hand over my passport. It feels a bit... Do I even have a passport? I don't even have a passport. 
Part of the mosaic is missing. The hotel is under lockdown. I can't leave. He's eager to get his hands on my passport. Well, I've got nothing to hide. But I also have nothing to share, either. So... Where the heck was the owl head thing? I think that was in my bedroom. Oh no, it was on this chair here. Ooh, what's this? Let's go back. I think that was down here, wasn't it? Oh no, 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 no. That was back upstairs. Uh, I can't remember where it was. I just saw it, though. Nope. Must have been in my room. Let's go here. I gotta figure out how I'm gonna dig that up. No, it wasn't in here either. What does my trusty map say? Reception? Oh, maybe my roof restaurant. I swear I just saw it. Aha. Oh, never mind, I was never here before. It's a pasta scooper. Apparently that's not gonna work. My, my pasta scoop is made out of bamboo, which will burn. I think I could use that over here, though. Get that out of there. It's a hose. A hose nose. Fire extinguisher. Go. A valve is missing. Darn. Come on, sparkles. Show yourself. Uh, second floor. It was at the bottom of this, wasn't it? Yeah, there it is. Hello. I have a fancy pen. Not just a pen, a fancy pen. I could use some reference to figure out this puzzle. Probably this. Ooh. Yay. What is this thing? A briefcase lock? I can put that here, maybe. Sterling must have left in a hurry. Let's see what we've got here. It seems like the professor is the key to finding the Liberty Stone. And from what I can tell, he's working with Mr. Sterling. I have found a buyer for the stone. The moment has come for you to organize the pageant. Stand by for further instructions. And don't worry, Walker is clueless. A professor. Okay, fair enough. That sounds like evidence to me. Let's play the tape and play it. Go. Liberty Stone case file number one. Both the Sterling and Walker families claim that the large gym rightfully belongs to them. The evidence is vague at best. It is impossible to tell whose property the stone is without a full-on investigation. So, the ownership of the Liberty Stone is being questioned in court. I should find out more. Yes, I should. But we'll have to find out in the next episode. Ooh, that's right. We'll be back with more off the record. Thank you all for watching. I'm Miriam.